Hello and welcome to the Brandon Smith Rugby Channel here on YouTube and we've just finished watching Italy against France. France running out, winning here so comfortably, 50 points to 10. It's an absolute demolition of the Italians and some beautiful rugby from the French. If you're new here, subscribe. We just did a watch along of the whole game and there is one coming up for England against Scotland. Half past four, that's going to be starting. So you might have enough time to watch this and then jump in on that one. But where do we begin with this one? Well, France got an early score through uh, Cretin, who got an early score. And then tries followed for Fakou, Vincent, Dulan, Dupont and Teddy Thomas got two tries. Sperandio did get a try for Italy and Galbisi got a penalty while Jalibert converted every single a try that they got except bar one and got a penalty as well. So one of the big talking points from the game, the reality is that Italy were quite naive, I felt, in the way they played. There were little mistakes all over the pitch that unfortunately were very, very frustrating. If you're a French fan, you'd be very excited by this team because if you're totally honest, you didn't get out of third or fourth gear, if I'm being honest. Italy allowed you the opportunity to attack so comfortably. There were instances in the game where you felt as if uh, as if Italy were just causing themselves more harm than good. There was a scrum for France in their own 22, a difficult exit, and yet the Italians give a penalty away where there's no pressure on them to do that. Some sparks for Italy. You'd have to say uh, Stephen Varney at scrum half had a good game. He showed a lot of promise. He had the ball in hand a lot. He went forward a lot. He tried he tried to create things. Galbisi looked good, but came off injured and Kana came on. For France, then the positives, as I said, did have to come out of third or fourth gear. The team looked up for it. The physicality of the side was certainly there to be seen. And honestly, if France hadn't have given away a couple of cheap penalties near the end of the game, it could have been a bigger score on the day. But let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on this one. So where do Italy go from here? Well, Italy played some nice rugby at points. They just didn't really have the finishing touch. They didn't really have that finishing quality that they needed to get the win, which will be a massive frustration for them because that is something that they would have wanted to have done. Going forward for France then, they obviously have Ireland next at the Aviva. Interesting to see how Ireland will get on tomorrow against my team, Wales. But for France, a really attractive rugby didn't have to do that much, to be honest. And Jalibert, people worried about Intermac being out and the effect of that, but he looked pretty competent, although against a weaker opposition, you have to be honest in saying that. But in all honesty, this French team looked very, very good and looked very, very dangerous. Dupont won man the match. He ran the game all day. It was a comfortable victory for them. And you've got to back them, really, to go and do something quite special in this tournament. You, it'll be interesting to see how England do this evening against Scotland to see to see uh, can anyone really stop this French side. But there we go. Those are my thoughts after the game. Quick review here, very quick review, because we are doing a live watch along of England against Scotland at half past four on the channel. So make sure to join me for that one. Link in the description down below. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And we'll be back very, very shortly. I'll see you then. Peace.